Hey, this is Captain Chris Myers with Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. Today's video, hopefully we're going to be answering some questions that a lot of you may have had about braided fishing line. So if you've watched my videos before, you're probably well aware that I'm a huge fan of braided fishing line. I like it because it casts better, casts farther, lasts longer, super abrasion resistant super strong for its size and it's thinner than monofilament. I could go on and on. But this is a video about what kind of braid should you get. So I get a lot of questions from people. Okay, I'm ready to try braid. Which one do I get? And you go to the store and there's a huge selection. Some stores have a whole wall of fishing line. There's dozens of boxes of braids of all different colors, of all different tests, but more importantly, of all different uh, types. And by that I mean some are real slick and, and some are a lot more coarse. Some are very limp, some are pretty stiff. So my personal favorites are the slick ones that are limp. That means they're softer, they come off the spool easier, they go through your guides easier, and they're gonna get a lot more casting distance. Uh, if you look at the ones that usually say something about wind tamer or anti-wind knot or something to do with wind, you'll find those are generally a lot stiffer. They don't come off the spool as easy, which is what people call wind knots when a bunch of the wraps come off the spool at once. If you've been getting those in your braid, please check out my video on how to stop getting wind knots. But people ask me, what do I use? So here's one of my recommendations. It's Cast King with a K, Supercast 9. What, I, what the 9 means is it has nine uh, different strands that are woven together. And generally what you'll find is the more strands there are, the smoother uh, and slicker the line will be. I like lots of strands, really smooth, really long casts. If you pay attention to what causes the wind knots, you'll find that slicker, smoother lines will work for you as well. As long as you pay attention, make sure you're spooling it up on the reel correctly. I use a lot of 10 pound. Uh, this, this is what I have on here is 10 pound line and the size is 0.15 millimeters. It's a lot, it's probably about the size of two pound monofilament. So what you don't want to do is look for the one that's the size of 10 pound monofilament and put that on. You wouldn't want to be putting 60 pound braided line on your small spinning reel. So I'm using 10 pound braid, catching fish over 15 pounds easily on that line. Uh, some of my larger reels have 15 or 20 pound on them. So that's a whole nother video on selecting the appropriate size of braid. But if you're looking for a kind to try, I really recommend this Cast King Supercast 9. I happen to like the green color. When you're putting this on your spool, stick a screwdriver through the hole in the back, either have a buddy hold it, or stick the other end of the screwdriver in your vise. Make sure you're having this line come off the bottom of the spool onto your spinning reel. It eliminates some of the twist, but the other good, great thing about braid is it doesn't get all twisted up like monofilament does. So, Cast King Supercast 9, you know, I get mine on Amazon. I'll uh, put a link down here for you where you can find it. It's a, it's a real popular question I get, and hopefully that answered your question on what kind of braid you should try.